congratulations to the marijuana reform movement. Legalization is here in Colorado and in Washington State because of this historic vote on November, November 6, 2012. We finally have done it. We've legalized cannabis in two states in America. A lot of people are talking about uh, how this is going to end the drug war, specifically the war against marijuana users. We can only hope so. Uh, I'm very excited about this uh, this news that we just had, you know, Mass Medical Pass, Big 2 in Massachusetts, where I'm at. We've been working on that for years. But I also, uh, since, since, since we've had a couple, a couple days to celebrate now, I also want to get back to the activism and remind people what we're here for and that there's work still to be done. It's not over yet. Hopefully we see some countries uh, picking up and, and maybe Canada will reverse its trend because they're, they're implementing the drug war more than ever up in Canada. And uh, hopefully this will help them to see the light, just like we're starting to see the light with these voter referendums in, in America. Um, it's a tough time with this election. It's a tough time in the world. My heart goes out to the people in New Jersey, New York City, specifically Staten Island and the places that are most affected right now. It's, uh, it's a tough time to celebrate, but I am happy about the marijuana legalization, uh, despite all the issues in the world right now, the money, the economic, the job situation, the wars. But uh, we did get a little pony. We got, we got marijuana legalization coming. Um, on that front, I also wanted to uh, thank all the activists and the people who are supporting this movement, myself, people like Jody Emery that's out there every single day, the King of Pot, you know, a lot of my friends, I could list hundreds and hundreds of you out there, some bigger, some smaller, and their activism with me, but uh, just, it's great for all of us. Thank God we're finally seeing some progress on this. Um, but again, to get back to activism today, what we can do today, not, not to talk about what happened two days ago, which was a great thing, let's talk about what, what's going on today. Um, we got to watch out for the federal government. DEA, are they going to come out? What, what, what are they going to do about this? Uh, got to keep the pressure on the governors of Washington State and Colorado to make sure that they don't waffle with the Fed pressure because the states have every right to not enforce marijuana laws. That They have every right. That's constitutional. If the feds want to come in and try to enforce their federal laws, let them. Let them. Let them try because that's, that's, what, that's what we're doing right now. We're going to let them try. I don't think they're going to be able to do, to do that especially to the small-time marijuana users that are, have suffered the most harassment on this war of marijuana users. Um, the, the activism, though, I want to get back to that because that's the big thing today. If you're in a state that's not Colorado or Washington and you want to legalize marijuana, well, you know what? You have an opportunity to do so now. Because of this precedent that these two states have gone forward and legalized, we have every opportunity now to call our elected officials, our governors, our state reps, our Congress people even, our senators, call them and ask them to support legalization, to, re to support repeal of marijuana prohibition. I'm actually going to start doing that today. I'm going to call my state rep Toomey, who I've lobbied and talked to in the past about supporting medical cannabis, and now I'm calling and saying, hey, this is a jobs bill. I want some jobs in Massachusetts for legalizing cannabis because Washington State and Colorado are going to get all these hemp jobs. They're going to get all these new jobs. And we need the jobs in Massachusetts. We need to take the drug, the, the cannabis out of the hands of the kids and the, take the trade, the marijuana trade, out of the high schools and put it into the hands of the adults. And that's what we need to see happen. I'm going to call him today on this. I'm going to remind him of the, of the news on what's, what's been happening and the vote. And I'm also going to talk about the public policy questions that we passed in his district with huge numbers. And I'm going to ask him to support the repeal of marijuana prohibition at the state level in the state of Massachusetts. I'm going to beg him and plead with him. I'm going to ask him to come on my show, Two Hotheads, where activism happens. This is what I'm going to be doing to all the elected officials in the state of Mass. If you have one that I should be calling, let me know, especially if you've talked to them and you see some light, you see that there's a, there's an, there's a possibility, even any glimpse of sunlight. Let's call these people. Let me know. I want to hear from you, who you're calling, who, because this is the time, we need to call, this news is huge, it's all over the place, we need to uh, not just react to the feds, we need to be proactive, we need to be a step ahead of them, we need to hit them over the head so hard that they don't know what hit them, when every other state is now going to move forward, because in Massachusetts, we have a bill, uh, Stanley Rosenberg was recently on our show, Two Hotheads, he said he would put up the Dick Evans 
repeal a marijuana prohibition bill once more like he did last time. So we have a bill. We have something to, to promote and move in the state of Massachusetts right now, not waiting until 2016, which is the game plan, because it's going to happen here. It's just a matter of when. I want to see it happen next, you know, this next session. So let's try to get this moving. Let's get some news. I got a big story that I just found out about coming out in the Phoenix. They asked me what the next steps were. You know what I said? This. We're going to legalize it. That's what the next step is. So let's get to work, celebrate for a couple days, but let's take, let's take the initiative and take advantage of this great news that we've been given.